Good evening students. Welcome all of you. Today we are going to discuss ISSO Olympiad workbook for class 10. Today our topic is geography and we are going to study and discuss few question answers from the chapter 7 that is minerals and energy resources. So let's start. Okay, so here it's chapter 7, Minerals and Energy Resources. Now the first question, formation of which of the following minerals involves the decomposition of surface rocks and the removal of soluble constituents, leaving a residual mass of weathered material containing ores. Option A, gypsum. Option B, sandstone. Option C, petroleum. And option D, bauxite. Yes, the correct answer of this question. Will be option D, that is bauxite. Okay. Next question. Which of the following sedimentary minerals is formed as a result of evaporation, especially in arid regions? Option A, coal. Option B, potash, salt. Option C, iron ore. And option D, sulfur. Yes, option B is the correct answer, that is potash, salt. A group of sedimentary minerals include gypsum, potash, salt and sodium salt. These are formed as a result of evaporation, especially in arid regions. Okay. Next question. Which of the following energy sources are not conventional sources of energy? Option A. Fire wood, cattle dung cake. Option B, atomic energy, biogas, solar energy. Option C, coal, petroleum, natural gas. And option D, hydro and thermal electricity. Option B is the correct answer of this question. That is atomic energy, biogas and solar energy. That is non-conventional energy sources include solar, wind, tidal, geothermal, biogas and atomic energy. So this is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is the most abundantly available fossil fuel in India? Option A, petroleum, option B, coal, option C, firewood, and option D, biogas. It will be option B, that is coal. Coal is the correct answer. Okay, coal provides a substantial part of the nation's energy needs. Now, then the next question you can see, students, you have to match okay match the column and select the correct option column 1 and column 2 has been given so first you can see it's given dick boy and in column 2 it's given a variety of coal then anthracite and here is given photovoltaic technology and then solar energy and it's given first oil well drill in india and after that it's given uh, tidal energy that is Sundarban region of West Bengal. So you have to choose here. PQRS has been given and you have to choose here the numbering with the correct option. Yes, the correct answer will be option C. P3 that is here. You can see first oil well drilled in India that is Dick Boy. Okay. Next Q1, okay, Q1, that means anthracite is a variety of coal. Then R2, okay, that is solar energy, photovoltaic technology, and here it is given S4. That means your tidal energy in Sundarban regions of West Bengal, okay. So, this is the correct answer. Now, next question. 
In India, the Gulf of Gambit, the Gulf of Kutch and Gangetic Plate Delta in southern regions of West Bengal provide ideal conditions for utilizing which energy? Option A tidal energy, option B wind energy, option C solar energy and option D biogas. Yes, correct answer of this question will be your option A. Okay, that is tidal energy. Next, which type of sand in Kerala is rich in thorium? Option A, monazite sand. Option B, gypsum sand. Option C, silica sand. And option D, black sand. Yes, correct answer will be monazite sand. Okay, that is thorium is found in monazite sand of Kerala and it is used to generate nuclear energy okay next question iron ore from the mines of chhattisgarh is exported to japan and south korea via which port option a you have to choose a port option a is chennai port option b visakhapatnam port option c haldia port and option d new mangalore port which one option b that is visakhapatnam port is the correct answer okay now next question which is the finest iron ore with a very high content of iron option a magnetite option b hematite option c lemon or uh, lemonadite and option d siderite which is the correct answer of this question option a that is magnetite okay this is the finest iron ore with a very high content of iron up to 70 percent now next question india is critically deficient in the reserve and production of which of the following minerals option a iron ore option b manganese option c copper and option d it's coal yes correct answer will be copper okay next question select the incorrect statement so you have to see that which one is your incorrect not correct okay statement option a hydroelectricity is generated by fast flowing water which is a renewable resource option b natural gas is considered an environment friendly fuel because of low carbon dioxide emissions and option c geothermal energy refers to the heat and electricity produced by using the heat from the interior of the earth and option d bauxite is an ore of silver so which one is the incorrect statement option d okay this is an incorrect statement bauxite or is the world's primary source of aluminium okay next question dash is the basic raw material for the cement industry and essential for smelting iron ore in the blast furnace option a gypsum option b limestone option c potash salt and option d sodium salt option b that is limestone okay limestone is the correct answer next question in which of the following non-conventional sources of energy india is referred to as a superpower in the world option is solar energy option b biogas option c wind energy and option d tidal energy option c will be the correct answer that is wind energy india now ranks as a wind superpower in the world the largest wind farm cluster is located in Tamil Nadu from Nadukoli to Madurai. Okay. Next question, student. Being malleable, ductile, and a good conductor, it is mainly used in electrical cables, electronics, and chemical industries. The Balaghat mines in Madhya Pradesh, K3 mines in Rajasthan, and Singhbung district of Jharkhand are leading producers of it identify the mineral option a silver 
option B copper, option C mica and option D bauxite. Option B copper will be the correct answer of this question. Okay. Next question. This variety of coal is the first stage of transformation of wood into coal. It contains low carbon and high moisture contains and low heating capacity. Identify the variety of coals. We have to identify which variety of coal is. Number A that is uh, first option lignite. Option B is anthracite. Option C peat and option D bituminous. Yeah, correct answer will be option C that is peat. It is an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation or organic matter. Okay. Now next question. Read the given passage and fill in the blanks with the correct option. Coal is found in a variety of forms depending on the degrees of compression and the depth of depth and diameter burial. Dash is a low grade uh, brown coal that is soft with high moisture contained. Uh, coal that has been buried deep and subjected to increased temperature is dash coal. Dash is the highest quality hard coal. So you can see here four options are given A, B, C, D. You have to choose. Correct answer will be option C. That is uh, here. Dash is a low grade brown coal that is lignite which is soft and high moisture contained. Coal that has been buried um, deep and subjected to increased temperature is bituminous coal and anthracite is the highest quality hard coal. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is the oldest oil producing state of India? Options are given here A. Gujarat, option B. Mumbai, option C. Assam and option D. West Bengal. Correct answer will be Assam. Okay. It is the oldest oil producing state of India. Assam. Next question. Read the given statement and select the correct option. So statement based question here. Statement 1 and 2 is given. Statement 1. Biogas is by far the most efficient use of cattle dung. And statement 2. Biogas improves the quality of manure and also prevents the loss of trees and manure due to burning of full wood and cow dung cakes. Now, option A. Both statement 1 and 2 are true. Option B. Both statement 1 and 2 are false. Statement C. Uh, sorry, option C. Statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false. And D. Statement 2 is true but statement 1 is false. So the correct answer will be option A. That is both the statement 1 and 2 are true. Okay. Both are true. Next question. Read the following characteristics and identify the source of energy. Number 1. It is a conventional source of energy. Number two, it is considered as an environment friendly fuel. And number three, being lighter, it usually occurs above the oil. And uh, now the options are given here. Coal gas, option B, atomic energy, option C, natural gas, and option D, petroleum. So which is the correct answer? Option C, that is natural gas. Okay. Next question. Koderma Gaya Hazaribagh built of Jharkhand is the leading producer of dash. Option A bauxite, option B copper, option C manganese and option D mica. Yeah, the correct answer will be D. Option D that is mica. Okay. Koderma Gaya Hazaribagh built of Jharkhand is the leading producer of mica. Now Students coming to achievers section that is hot question. So first you can see uh, a statement based question is given. You have to identify the correct statement here. 
Number 1. Coal, petroleum, natural gas, hydroelectricity and thermal power are conventional sources of energy. All conventional sources of energy except hydroelectricity are in exhaustible okay number two solar energy is an abundant inexhaustible and universal source of energy number three manganese and cobalt are ferrous minerals while potassium and sandstone are non-ferrous metals minerals now number four gold silver tin and platinum are not corroded by water now number five india is currently one of the most energy efficient nations in the world now options are given a b c and d you have to choose the correct one so correct answer will be option c okay that is two and four only are the correct statement that is to me solar energy is an abundant inexhaustible and universal source of energy this one is correct and number four that is gold silver tin and platinum are not corroded by water this is uh, the correct statement rest all are incorrect okay next question is a uh, symbol based question so what do the symbol uh, indicate in the given outline map of india map based question students you have to check the map and then you have to identify a b c d are given here coal fill oil fill natural gas and uh, oil fills okay so you have to choose here okay by the symbol so correct answer will be option d that is a square shape then a triangle shape and a small uh, dash like shape like a hyphen one okay so this will be the correct form next question uh, study the given classification chart and identify p q r s and t so uh, children you have to see here the uh, chart which has been given over here classification has been given and you have to identify which one is p q r s and t okay which will come in this category a b c d options are given here Yes, the correct option or the correct answer will be option D here. Okay. Then number 24, again you can see map based question and number 25, both are map based question. So you have to identify the minerals which is found in the places labeled as W, X, Y and Z in the given outline map of India. Yes, the correct answer will be option A. Okay. A. that is here w which represent mica x represent manganese y here represent iron ore and z will be for bauxite okay next question the areas marked as a triangular shape in the given outline map of india have dash option a nuclear plants option b coal mines option c thermal plants and option d bauxite reserve yeah option a will be the correct answer that is nuclear plants in india nuclear plants are located in uttar pradesh rajasthan gujarat maharashtra karnataka and tamil nadu so this is last question okay so that's all for this video students today up till here okay and we have discussed here the question answers from chapter 7 minerals and energy resources and in our next video we'll discuss few more question answers so until then take care goodbye and thank you everyone goodbye